Hey friends, this is Nick, and I call my channel DZ Performance. I appreciate everybody for tuning in. I want to wish everybody a happy New Year's. It's uh, New Year's Day 2024. And the test I'd like to bring you is what I call my 468, uh, Magic 468. I've showed you before testing on the Brodex Race Right ovals and rectangle ports. The ovals are the 270s. The rectangle ports are... 294 cc intake runners uh, but with the head we're going to run today is the airflow research 265 i'll give you uh all the detailed specs on my motor at the end of the video after i run some uh, dyno test footage and then also if you uh, stay to the end of the video i'm going to do some review and answer some questions about my test that i did last week on the 400 small block versus the 396 big block and uh, what I'm going to upgrade the small block to. Let me run some dyno footage and I'll be back to review the results and numbers with you. Okay, before we go over the dyno results, I had a uh, viewer on one of my other videos point out that I do a lot of videos on dyno tests and give very little information. So let me slow down, you know, but I usually post the information and specs on the motors in the, uh, on the video, the comment part of, uh, of my videos. But let me go over this motor with you so you know what you're looking at. I run a Pro Systems 1000 CFM carburetor, uh, 4150 style carburetor. I got an Edelbrock RPM air gap. The two air gaps that I'm running here, the oval port and the rectangle port, are completely untouched. They're just stock carburetors. They have a one inch custom spacer that I make that's non symmetrical, that's a custom design I'm working on. They'll be for sale sometime soon. And the camshaft is a custom design that Lenighty did for me. And the specs on it at 50 thousandths is 239 on the intake and 253 on the exhaust. And there's a reason I do that, and I'll get to that in a minute. The lift is about 600, so I'm not ready to give the complete specs on it, but that's basically what it is. The pistons in this motor, it's a 454 block that's bored 60 over, so it's a 4.3 two inch bore it has a je's srp piston with a 1 16th 1 16th uh top two rings they're just hasting rings uh they're not even i didn't even file to fit them they're standard standard ring gap they uh they the rods that is in the motor are just stock GM 454 rods actually the the rotate the rods and crank I got with the motor so they're cast I had the rods bushed and floated so I could run the floating pins the rods are equipped with ARP rod bolts the crank is just a stock crank that's balanced rotating assembly the cast crank is polished in 10 turn 10 under so that's the the uh, compression ratio it has a 23 cc dome and the uh, compression that we're running here is on the Brodexes is uh, 10.2 the airflow research they're just a little smaller so it's about 10.3 compression 10.3 uh, to 1 and we've talked about this and I've showed you the results on the Brodex race rights 
in previous videos, but just to go over this, what and the heads, the the Brodex heads, I had them milled down to uh, 115 cc combustion chambers, and they have the Comp Cams 933-16 valve springs uh, on all these heads. I updated the Airflow Research and both sets of Brodexes with those springs. The springs that they usually ship on these heads are, you know, really soft and they're made for longevity. They're not made for in my experience, what I've found, they're not made for making horsepower over 6,000. They go flat up there, and uh, there's a lot of people that will verify that for me. But this test to where we ran the Brodex oval ports and the Brodex rectangles, those heads are very much similar. Where I highlighted in yellow, and I think I actually got a couple of the columns off, the oval ports are basically two horsepower two foot pounds torque stronger below 4500 and then above 4500 the rectangles take over and they beat it by two horsepower and two foot pounds of torque they're very similar you know my uh, my analysis on it is if you are running some steep gears in a lighter car i'd go the rectangle ports but they're so close you can do whatever the like I say, I'm big fans of the Brodex Race Right series. They are great heads for the money. And if you get the compression ratio right and the springs right, <coughs> they make good horsepower. So here's what we did with the uh, Airflow Research 265s. Now the horsepower peak is really exciting, the 654. That's 32, no, 34 horsepower more. And the torque is about 15 foot-pounds more torque but there again I did not do an a B comparison exactly I I really should have but I I wanted to throw all the cowbell at this 468 and see what it would do with this little street cam I updated it with solid roller lifters and I know it's a hydraulic cam but I put I, I tight lashed it and put solid lifters on it and then I put scorpion 1.8 rockers now in previous tests I have found I know engine masters and some other people have shown nine horsepower difference i've found on these big block chevys about five horses by running solid lifters and then the scorpion rockers that's a pretty good upgrade because you get 35 thousandths more lift by running a 1.8 rocker versus the 1.7 that's factory so i switched from the brodex race rights were ran with a 1.7 uh, comp cams pro magnum rocker and then i went to the scorpion 1.8s there's 15 horsepower usually in that in that swap but when i was telling you about the cam duration i put 14 degrees of more duration on the exhaust and it levels out or, or it, well it improves the brodex race rights do not have the uh, raised exhaust ports their flow research does and if you run a cam that's only six degrees or less difference exhaust intake the the airflow research just run away from it but if you just help out the standard port location a little bit more on the duration and they get a little bit closer so what i'm saying is the there was probably a minimum of 15 horsepower difference that I helped out the airflow research and they beat it by 34 horses. So if you give it a little more duration on the exhaust side, there's not that much difference in between the raised ports. And these airflow research are fully CNC ported. You can't argue with the 654 horsepower that this, this motor put out with the airflow research. That That's a cool street strip 468 big block. That that's a motor that in a decently set up car will run well into the tens. I, I've done it with 600 horse motors in my Camaro. It will, will get you into the tens, but okay. That's the, that's the information on the, uh, my uh, test motor, my 468. I want to go over with you some of the stuff about my test I did last, last week. Okay, these are stock rebuilt motors. They, I got uh, lots of great comments from people about 
about this test, but I did get some people that thought I ruined the small block by putting the two barrel heads on it. That motor came out of the factory with two barrel heads. These are motors that I bought on Facebook Marketplace. I gave 800 bucks for the 400. I gave 1200 bucks for the big block. The big block was more because it had the heads came in a bag. They were all fresh and clean from the machine shop. Now I did a pocket port on them. I changed springs. I lapped in the valves. I did some stuff, but these are, are motors that was rebuilt in the 90s and they were in good condition, but they weren't balanced blueprinted stuff. Uh, I had, what, what I'm trying to explain to you here is I got my, my Chilton's manual out. And it, this manual's ancient. It's almost as old as I am. But uh, a 400 small block, two barrel, was 265 horsepower. This motor with a Edelbrock ESP intake and a comp cam hydraulic flat tappet, 224, 230 at 50 thousandths. That's an extreme energy cam. The, the rockers are even stock. I long slotted them, but the rockers are stock. The push rods are stock. It, it's just cam springs intake. And uh, it's been bored 30 thousandths. It has a, you know, replacement cast pistons. This motor picked up 70 horsepower over what the factory had it rated with. With a four barrel, the carburetor I ran once again was a a Brawler 770 vacuum opening secondaries. So 70 horsepower on the the uh, 400. Let's look at uh, the 60, 67, 396, uh, 396, that, there it is, 325 horse. That's what this motor is. Now it does have 69 heads on it. And I misquoted the, the compression ratio in my last video. It is not 10 and a quarter. It is about 9.5 is all the compression is. And I put a hydraulic comp cam 236, uh, 242 on the exhaust hydraulic roller. That's an extreme energy. Now this one has an R Edelbrock RPM manifold and both these motors was run with a custom carburetor spacer that I designed, a non-symmetrical custom carburetor spacer. And it has, the rockers on this one are the uh, Comp Cam's um, Magnum rockers. They're a roller tip. I uh, um, I could have run just, you know, LS6 long slots. I had a set of those, but I didn't. I run the, the Magnum roller tips. I had them in stock. Neither one of these motors even have a windage tray. They're stock pans, stock oil pumps. They... Uh, so the uh, the the uh, big block Chevy the 408 you know it's bored 60 over <coughs> it has a it had an increase of I'm trying to do the math in my head I think it's a uh, 120 horsepower over stock which for cam intake rockers and a basic rebuild uh, and it's not even balanced I, I was tremendously happy with that. I thought that's, but I built those 396s like that, just on a rebuilder with a cam about that size, and that's what they do. They'll do about 450 horse. You know, I, I was a little disappointed on the compression, or I'm sorry, the uh, torque. They'll usually go up around 480 foot pounds of torque, but I was off on the CC of the heads. I thought these were some of the. Uh, 96 cc heads they are not they are the uh, 109s i just had my casting numbers mixed up I've, I've cc'd a lot of those heads and i just didn't realize when i made the last video what they was now on to what i'm going to do with this 400 to uh, ease everybody that uh, was uptight about me not uh, getting the 406 small block chevy to do much <clears throat> i've got some classic 186 double humps they're they're just pocket ported and uh cut out to 202 valves these are the same casting number they put on the z28s and the uh, 350 horse small blocks in 1969 I, one of the heads i sent down to uh, eric weingardner he's doing some flow testing for me on it and he's actually going to do a shootout in between my 186s and some new trick flows that i just bought 
and then he's going to ship them back. I'm going to get this thing on the dyno. I think we'll see a huge in horsepower increase over the two barrel heads to the very good quality 186s, 186 casting numbers. But, um, well, that's today's video, and I appreciate you watching. This is Nick. Thank you.